¡Eh, papis! ¡Eh, papis! The caller reported several dogs in trouble, including some puppies. Let's go look around back. But the property looks empty. They take a look around. Found Mama. Hi. In a makeshift tent at the rear of the property, Kendrick makes a disturbing discovery. Oh my goodness, here's your puppies. Oh my goodness. Oh you no. Did it. What mama. are they sitting? Are they in their food bowl? I think they're in their food bowl. Poor babies. Yeah, yeah are miserable. Poor babies. Oh. You know they're miserable. Uh-huh. This area is, isn't adequate for any animal. I mean, it's filled with feces. Um, you know, where there's not feces, it's mud and, and wetness, and it smells like urine. I mean, it's just not, it's not ideal for any animal to be in this situation. And it gets even worse. Kendrick and Wagner discover another dog on the back porch. Lots of hair loss too, but not as bad as them. Come here. Oh, hell. I didn't see your tail. Maverick, take a look at this. Oh, no. What is I don't know. I'm going trying to get her to move. Can I see? Let me see. Let's see, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh calm oh, down. Calm down. Oh, I saw him. Oh, he's uncomfortable. Yeah. Hey, Baba. It took Hi. Pain. This one looks like a pretty severe injury to the tail head and um, constantly chewing on that spot. So it's certainly irritating it very much. A lot of hair loss, inflamed skin, um, just really poor condition. All right, I'll say we see these three as exit. Here you go. Come on, Come open on. gate. There we go. In an emergency, Kendra can use her law enforcement authority to seize animals and place them in the temporary care of the Houston SPCA. Hi. You know that hurts. That. Come here. Can I pick you up? Good huh? boy. There Good boy. Go. Okay. Deputy Kendrick wants to remove him under exigent circumstance. Uh, we've decided to do go this route because the, they're suffering. They're suffering a great deal. I mean, they're shivering. They're inflamed. Their skin is just completely red. They're miserable. Um, you know, so to the point where we don't want to leave them in this situation for another 24 hours. All the remaining animals will be picked up from the property later, but the priority now is to get medical attention for the three ducks right away. Get the AC cranked. Kendrick will work to track down who's responsible and hold them accountable for the severe neglect of the animals. At the Houston SPCA shelter, senior cruelty investigator Maverick Wagner briefs Dr. Amy Crum on the dogs oh, rescued friendly. from a property in North Houston. Yeah, a little nervous. Good man. There. I'm just going to give him his vaccines and then see if we can't get him a bath. He definitely needs a bath. What jumps out at you first is severe skin condition. Most likely some kind of external parasite like a a mange mite, either Demodex or Sarcoptes. So we'll figure out what it is causing it and, and at least you know get him a bath and get him some medication to be more comfortable here in the short term. Wagner and Dr. Crum will now examine the puppies, while Deputy Constable Christine Kendrick and Dr. Tori Cole start the adult dog's treatment with a bath. And on the scene, he had you know, all this going on back here. But this is new. He's doing this to himself because he's, he's so itchy. Chewing himself. Aww. So we put the e collar on, hoping we can do it without any sedation. I'll okay. hold in for you if you want to get this stuff ready. Yeah. So if you want to grab some gloves, she's going to just clip up the hot spot regions. Really Poor itchy. little guy. <laughs> A lot of times it really does hurt right along it, so just cut along the edge, you know? Okay. The veterinary team start by cleaning up the area around the tail wound. <laughs> Dr. Crum is evaluating the puppies. Like the adult dog, they also have a terrible skin condition. There's signs. 
seems that he's really scratching and chewing at his skin a lot. He's pretty itchy. Yeah, so it's uh, very uncomfortable, I'm sure. There's a puppy in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. The dogs are finally getting the care they need. <laughs> but their blood work reveals they have a severe contagious skin problem called sarcoptic mange. Fortunately, it can be treated with regular medical baths, but they'll need time to recover. Yeah, just dry them off. The bath is complete. Kendrick has volunteered to care for the puppies until they're healed. The plan is that they'll be here at the shelter until after the appeal process, and uh, hopefully by then they'll be not contagious, and then they'll come to my house for foster until they, you know, until they heal up and get some hair back, and they need to be fostered because of the because of the condition that they're in now. So they have to have some time to regrow their hair and and get their skin back in in good condition and and uh, a little socialization, and uh, and they'll be adoptable. Deputy Constable Christine Kendrick has been fostering three dogs she helped rescue from severe neglect. What are you doing? Who wants a treat? -treat? Come on. One of them, the adult terrier with the sore tail, has already been adopted into a loving home. The two puppies, now called Yogi and Grizzly Bear, are recovering from their serious skin condition. They had a bad start. I mean, when we picked these animals up, they, they were basically hairless. Their skin was very pink and hot to the touch, and, you know, they just looked awful. But they've made a lot of progress, and they've gotten most of their hair back. And, uh, you know, you pick them up, and you think there's no way that they'll survive, and then they thrive. They were probably two, three, four pounds a piece. And now that I think they're pushing about 40 pounds, they're, they're going to be beautiful dogs, I think. I think they have a really happy future for, ahead of them, and they're going to make great pets. For Kendrick, the positive progress of animals like Yogi and Grizzly Bear make it all worthwhile. Sometimes your day is just awful and you're really stressed out and you know you think, I, I just can't do this anymore or I don't want to do this anymore. And then you get home and, and you see the fosters that you have at home and they make a difference. They make a difference in keeping me doing what I'm doing because there are days when, I mean, you think, you just can't keep doing this. It's just too much. It's too hard emotionally to, to do it. And, uh, and, and then, you know, then you see one of these guys and you say, okay, it's worth it in the end. Yes, we do.